Hi, my name's David Couchy and I'm a design and data engineer for Triple Eight Race Engineering and you're watching Norton Engineered for Speed Technical section and today we're talking about wheels, tyres and nuts. So here we have a V8 supercar control wheel. Uh, everyone in the category has to use the same wheel. It weighs around 11 kilos. And then you have a Dunlop control tyre. There's two compounds, there's a soft and hard, it's, um, which we can use at various times throughout the race weekend, depending on the regulations for the particular race. The wheel and tyre is held in by a central one wheel nut. So this weighs about 450 grams, and it's uh, machined from a big bit of aluminium um, and then machined down to this nut here. Uh, there's a, it's captive also, so these little teeth here, they locate in the, in the center of the wheel, and that means during a pit stop, the wheel can't fall out, so when the guys take the wheel off, there's no chance of the, the, the nut actually falling off and firing down pit lane, so it's, it's basically like a safety, a safety feature, um, because those things traveling down pit lane is, is not a good thing. So let's have a look at the back of the wheel. So at the back here, there's 15 different uh, holes where the, where the drive pegs on the hub can actually locate on. So that means it's, it's, it's relatively easy for during a stop to get the wheel on and locate it on the hub as quickly as possible. And you can see here it's got little lead-ins all machined to it, again, just to try to make sure the wheel gets onto the hub as quickly as possible during a pit stop and there's no, nothing to slow things down. So during the pit stop, the boys use one of these to get the wheel off as fast as possible. It's actually quite a heavy bit of gear. Um, so, and it's a, a pneumatic gun. Uh, so during the stop, they'll have to change the direction to go on and off. And uh, that is uh, a very important part of, of doing a, a quick, quick pit stop. The guys can get the wheel off with two guys on one wheel, they can get it on and off in about three seconds. So considering the weight of all these components, that's pretty impressive.